Giving away iPhones has become quite the popular YouTube trend over the years as we've seen different YouTubers provide their own spin on it and typically time it around a big iPhone release in an effort to maximize their video's potential success. Giving iPhones to strangers, giving Harvard students an iPhone 11 if they answer this question correctly, customizing 11 iPhone 11s and giving them to people, giving away iPhones dressed as a homeless man, and the list goes on and on. Now I know people love getting free stuff, but turns out people love watching other people get free stuff almost just as much, myself included. I know I've watched my fair share of that was epic videos. Yeah, man, I, I mean it. I'm for real. Now, we're no stranger to healthy criticism on this channel, but I personally think that philanthropic style content, which Mr. Beast is the perfect example of, is uh, great. But it gets a little murky for me when you start destroying people's phones in order to capture their angry reaction, only to then give them a new phone and act as if that somehow absolves you from being a pompous head that just inexplicably destroyed one of their most personal items. Bruh. Bruh. I had pictures of me and my mom's on that camera roll that weren't back up to the cloud. Keep your new phone, I just want my goddamn pictures back. <laughs> Hello everybody and welcome back to a brand new golden retriever terrified of thunderstorms. My name is Leon Lush and uh, I'm very grateful that you decided to spend a few minutes here with me today. So we're gonna get right into this dumpster fire and have a few laughs, I hope, but in the spirit of this whole thing, I thought it would be prudent to swing by uh, the Apple store, so I picked up uh, an iPhone 11 Pro myself. Now I'm not gonna be giving this to anyone in this video because I wanted to give one of you guys watching the opportunity to get your hands on. Now I know what you're thinking, oh no, did Leon turn into Extreme Games? It can't be real, oh, it can't be real. It's okay, no, for two reasons. A, I could never possibly get this excited about an iPhone. Oh! And B, it's not fake. I'm actually gonna personally ship this out to one of you guys, and you don't even have to like and subscribe. I don't even want you to unless you enjoy your time here, quite honestly. Uh, but I'm excited to get this out to one of you, and I'm also thankful uh, to today's video sponsor, Raycon, for making it possible, and it just so happens that they offer a product that pairs very well with the iPhone 11 Pro, and fortunately, Leon with glasses is on standby to tell us a little bit about that. If you watch a lot of YouTube, you've probably heard of Raycon by now. They are a company founded by our friend Ray J in an effort to deliver premium audio products at a more reasonable price than the competition. Now, I've spent well over a month with one of their newer products, the E25s, and I must say, I am delightfully impressed. These E25s are not only sleek, comfortable, and fit like a glove, but they somehow figured out how to deliver an incredible bass sound in a stunningly subtle design. I've used other brands that were twice the price, but I was always self-conscious having these huge ugly things dangling out of my ears. But with the E25s, they managed to look <laughs> hella fresh well sounding terrific. You get six hours of playtime, seamless Bluetooth pairing, and a compact noise isolating fit that comes in multiple colors. And by the way, the case is a beauty and it acts as a portable charger while remaining discreet. The E25s have become my new daily go-tos and if you're looking for an affordable pair for yourself, it's the perfect time because with Black Friday and Cyber Monday coming up, they have an array of incredible deals being offered. So click on my link in the description below to see how much you can save on a pair for yourself or as a holiday gift for someone else, you know, if you're, if you're nice like that. I appreciate you. Destroying people's iPhone, then giving them iPhone 11. This is by Tanner Fox, popular YouTuber. You might know him for his elite scootering skills or his ability to turn hides into leather. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to another video. Before we start today's video, you saw the title and thumbnail. I got a little surprise in my backpack. I want to say thank you guys all so much for the love and support on the channel recently. We've been growing so much. Happy to help, Tan. Going to be going around, smashing people's iPhones, and then surprising them with the new iPhone 11. <laughs> I'm a little nervous. I don't know how people are going to react. I don't know how we're going to get their iPhone, but we're going to smash the absolute crap out of it. Let them react a little bit. Let them get mad at me, hopefully, and then say, hey, I got you a little gift. Here's your iPhone 11. Okay, that's a sound plan, but I'm just saying, maybe keep your head on a swivel, Tanner, because if I was courteous enough to lend you my iPhone and you smash it on the ground in front of me, well, I would crush your skull into strawberry preservatives and drag and kick your sternum all the way to Narnia. Going down. Well, actually, we're just gonna go film a little bit outside. You wanna come out? Sure. We're gonna take like selfies for like a little bit. I'm taking selfies? What you wouldn't doing? mind like... What? All right, here we go. Like, we'll just take the selfie, we'll just take the selfie. That was my iPhone. Why did you do that? <laughs> it just, it was, I, sh I should be dumb pissed. It was kind of funny. So the first one's on his good friend, so it's not that risky, and I'm sure that he's probably used to Tanner's usual shenanigans, and just assumes he'll be getting a new one. Still inconvenient, though. I had a bunch of shit on here that I needed to back up. I'm sorry, it was, I don't even know why I did that. Like, we could have faked this with a, like, a fake phone, but you just took my real phone and 
it all up. Oh, here. Dude. Oh no, there was stuff you hadn't backed up yet? Well, let me just take it and throw it on the ground and stomp on it again to make sure there's absolutely no way you're ever gonna get those files. Shenanigans. All right, everybody, we are in the car right now on autopilot in the Tesla. Ah! Oh my God. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. I, I Sometimes I startle when I get unexpectedly flexed on like that. We're gonna show up unannounced, somehow get her phone and just break it, get her reaction, and then give her this brand new iPhone 11. Sick. So, is that a... Kind of Don't make fun of it, it's old. <laughs> what is this? Don't make fun of it! Bro, <laughs> dinosaur. Yo! This is a, what is this, a six? Yeah. Oh I'm my not very god. Savvy. Rocking the iPhone 6 in LA in 2019? Whew. Respect. Oh my god, look at this case. Where'd you it's get this? Cute. <laughs> it's kind of messy out there. Alright, I'm gonna use the camera. Wait, can you close the door so I get better lighting? Tanner! That light is screened down. None of my it's backed up at all. Okay, who is not backing their iPhone up on the iCloud? Is that a thing people do? Or is that just something he told her to say a few minutes ago and he also let her in on the whole thing he was doing? I'm just saying, I'm not saying that he that he staged it. I'm just saying. I didn't mean to, I didn't mean to. I can go get it. I, what do you mean you didn't mean to? I watched you wind up and throw it. I'm really sorry. It, it was a piece of shit. It was old. Go. Okay, but it, was... it doesn't matter if it's old. It's my phone. Got... Hey, why did you do that? I'm rich and it's funny. Do you know how many photos and how here, listen. old the photos I have on there? You stay here. I'll go get your phone. I'll get your phone and then we'll leave. Okay? I'm, I'm sorry. Yo, she was pissed. Yeah, no kidding. She's pissed, homie. He just took her most personal belonging and heaved it into the street. That had 165,576 selfies of her that were facetuned with the Doge filter. You can't just recreate that with a new iPhone. Dude, I, I, I don't know what to say after I throw it because, like, why did I throw it? For this YouTube video, I wager. Morgan. Oh, sick. Can't even use the camera. I, I can pay for your screen to get fixed. I'm gonna have to use that? a whole new phone. Why did you do that? Like, I don't really know. I just... It's a prank. This is a prank, yeah. Get pranked, bitch! Woo! Here you go. I'm sorry your stuff's not backed up, <laughs> You're though. You're a douche. <laughs> <laughs> but that's yours. Got, uh... That's yours. Oh, my goodness. You're so annoying. So now you can get a new case. You don't have to have the Hello Kitty case it's anymore. It's cute, though. It's, it's, it's debatable. It's, it's cute. It's, it's old. Thank you. <laughs> That's literally I'm still like a little mad. As you should be. Bye guys. Wow, I need the whole thing on camera. It's just a prank. It's just a hole now. No, my dear, you do not look like the a hole now. You're the only one actually having a reasonable reaction. Typically, it's the guy who smashes a perfectly usable phone for a YouTube video that that remains the a hole. Come on, come on, come on. Hey, excuse me, bro. What's going on? Hey, um, do you care if I use your phone? My phone died. I should. You guys got a camera for it. Oh, we were just filming a vlog, like a YouTube video, but my phone died. I'm trying to call my mom. Can I use your phone really quick? Do you mind? Yeah, don't run off with it. I won't. I won't. I promise. Okay, I'm just saying, this guy's looking kind of hard, though, with the dual braids in the back and the tattoos everywhere. If I'm about to smash a stranger's phone, I'm picking anybody else but this guy. Give me the pregnant soccer mom or the introvert on his way home from his part-time job at Yankee Candle, right? I'm just trying to guarantee I'm not going to catch hands for a stupid YouTube video. Thank you so much. What the f***, dude? Oh, yo. Dude, it was just a joke. Dude, what the f man? You gonna pay for this? Like, yeah. Here, wait. Yeah. Give me it. Here, you, iPhone 11, bro. What? There you go. I'm sorry. I <laughs> Holy f bro. Is it, we're just filming a YouTube video where you like break this people's phones and. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I only had one, sorry. Yeah. Um, got a brand new iPhone 11. I was like, what? <laughs> oh my god, yo man, I'm so sorry. I hope you didn't have anything important on the that phone. Well, I, it's backed up, so just, I'll switch it up later. Finally, someone practicing some good backup habits. Um, you have a good rest of your day. Dude, thank you. Oh my god. I don't even know what to say. Like, Alright, to that guy's credit, he recovered unusually fast, really exercising some patience there. And uh, I think Taylor still has a neck that's not broken because of it. Did I say Taylor? I meant Tanner, you know what I mean. What if they have family pictures and can't get them back? Listen, if you're not practicing proper backup techniques, you're pretty much asking at that point to get run up on by a rich YouTuber looking to smash your phone for a YouTube video. So it's, it's pretty much your own fault at that point. No, but really, that's what I was saying in the beginning. There's more to a phone than just hardware. This is people's lives. How about you just give them the phone without destroying their phone? Um, how about you just learn to make banger videos, Hokage? <laughs> Idiot. <laughs> All right, here's the same video by Legit Tim. Uh, first time I've heard of him, but sounds like he's pretty legit. <laughs>
Yo, my man. Excuse me, can I borrow you for a second? What's good, bro? Tim. I'm sorry, are you busy? From... What's your name, bro? Mike. Mike? Mike. My, Tim, nice to meet you, bro. Hey, so um, actually, I was walking in the area and my phone died, bro, and I really need to get my ride. So would you mind if I borrowed your phone for a second? I just really need to get picked up, bro. I got dropped off over here at the mall, you know, the mall around the corner. Okay, and, um, okay this dude has a life-threatening case of verbal diarrhea. Can we just bring it down? Like, two notches down would be good. And I can't find phone chargers anywhere, bro. I went into every single, like, Best Buy. I tried to use their charger. They kicked me out. All right, and all so, right, all right, all right. Hey, let me call you back. Yo, my G, anyways, I was just gonna wonder if I could just use your phone for a second real How quick. How long are you gonna be? No, I was just gonna be like literally two minutes. I just two gotta minutes. I just gotta call my girl real quick, bro. <laughs> oh man. Uh, this is so forced and overacted. It's hard to be interested if you can't at least sell that it's real. It'll just be a second, bro. It'll just be a second. What you mean you're with him again? I thought that you were gonna stop seeing him. I've already caught you twice with I'm all the way out here right now. I need you to scoop me up. So we're going through the distressed lover stick right now. This is classic. Hold on one second. Yo, bro. He seen some dude. I already told her not to see him. What, should wrap I, it up. what do you, you think I should do? Up. No, can I ask you her advice real quick? What? She's been seeing this dude for a minute, though. Uh, listen, I don't like to judge a book by its cover, okay? But if legit Tim was a cover, I'm probably leaving that book on the shelf. No, we're done. Nah, he's he. You I gonna asked smash him the phone yet or what, bro? He said to break up with you. Let's go. He said that I need to break up with. Yeah, no, we're done. <laughs> what? <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Let's see that. In an instant replay. We're done. Are you kidding me, Tim? What an absolute ninny. I could inject an actual sloth with a lethal dose of fentanyl. It would make a better throw than that. Yeah, no, we're done. I'm here ready to call the police and tell them that this man is unfit to have legit in his username because that was the most illegitimate throw I've ever seen in my pathetic life. You know what? No. No, I, ca I can't even continue. I'm too offended. That's it. We're done with him. Of course, the Dobre twins have done this. I'm sure this is an absolute banger. Welcome back to our channel. Today's video is going to be crazy. So, basically, we're going to be smashing people's iPhones and giving them new iPhone 11s. You ready? Cool. I can't wait. We're going to smash people's phones, destroy them, and then... We're gonna give him a brand new iPhone 11. So let's do it. Everyone, like it up. How many should we get, bro? Oh, there it is. We wanted to get um, a couple iPhone 11s. Okay. How many do you want to get? What are the differences? Admittedly, I'm not that familiar with the Dobre brothers, but from what I have seen, I am convinced that they are either androids or they just got so rich that wherever their soul used to be got replaced with $100 bills and Gucci backpacks. Yeah. How are you, man? Good. How are you? <laughs> you guys are great. Thank you. Go kill him. All right. All right. See, ya. See you, man. Let's do this. Let's do it. Okay, hold on a second. I refuse to believe that Big Jim working the post up front at Best Buy is a fan of the Dobre brothers. You guys are great. Unless, of course, his bonus is dependent upon quarterly sales, in which case it's probably nice to have the Dobre brothers in the neighborhood for times just like this. Yo, um, what time is it? It's like 547. Yeah. Oh, okay. I got a new iPhone. Oh, dude. Yeah, we're doing this YouTube video where we give out, yeah. The awkward cut leading up to it, they didn't even show his reaction, they just cut right to him getting the iPhone? This is nonsense, hold on a second. It's like 5, 4, and 7, huh? Yeah. Yeah, that cut right there was a little bit conspicuous. Clearly he wasn't cooperating and they just let him in on what they were doing and then it cut immediately to him smashing an iPhone and then immediately to them giving him a new one. Come on, D minus at best. Almost an F, that was pathetic effort. Oh, okay. I got a new iPhone. Oh, dude. Yeah we're, yeah, we're doing this YouTube video where we give out, yeah. You can open it if you want. Yeah, Let me help you open it. Appreciate it. No problem. Probably still so scared, right? Oh, that was painfully awkward. But it's so random. Like, we're just smashing people's phones. Yeah, it is random. I know. How random is this? It's so random. What are we doing again? We're just smashing people's phones. Aren't we so random? Yeah, it is random. I know, right? But it's so random. It's so random. Phone. Man, being a soulless, annoying YouTuber is the best. It's almost kind of like... God, what's the word I'm looking for? Random. Yes, random. I mean, how random are we? All right, next person. You want us to smash and we'll give you a new phone? Yes. Uh, I'm so serious. Here. Uh, Morgan, here, you smash it. I, I watched them. their videos. Where about you? Did you watch it on your Are you sure? Are you sure? <laughs> smash it. Looks like their first encounter that they tried to make look legit through terrible edits was just too much of a hassle, and they just they just gave up and are already just asking people ahead of time. Which effectively eliminates the only potentially intriguing thing about this video is seeing people's reaction when two string beans come up to you and smash your phone inexplicably. But now they're just asking for permission, and it's. Yeah. Die. There was no new phone. It wasn't. No. Sorry about that. It's like not here. 
<laughs> oh, Lucas, I tell you what, if he wasn't a YouTuber, he could do stand-up. Oh, boy. He kills me. I mean, just listen to this raucous laughter. <laughs> No, but seriously, this is a textbook definition of a fake laugh to help relieve awkward tension. <laughs> so basically, if I could break your phone, I'll give you a free iPhone 11. Um, if you can break my phone? Yeah. What a strange existence it is being a YouTuber. I just imagine these guys sitting around in their $15 million mansion like... Hey, Marcus, you want to cruise around and pick up a bunch of iPhones and roll around in our G-Wagon and ask people if we can destroy their phones? Yeah, all right, Lucas, good idea, man. Let's go. Honestly, I, I don't even blame people for hating YouTubers. <laughs> Collecting people's phone and giving them new ones. Then they can give the collected phones to the people who can't afford it. You know, that's a great idea and very smart. I like where your head's at. Unfortunately, that lame-ass title ain't getting no 11 million views on YouTube. <laughs> Should I open it to make sure it's not fake? Yeah. I think it is fake. Oh, it's not. Oh my god, it's not. It's not. It's really not fake. It's a nice phone. All right, can we smash your phone? Ready, Morgus? Yeah. You know what? Here, just keep this. We don't need to smash it. You just got a new iPhone. Oh my goodness, yeah, seriously? Yeah. Thank you so much. You see, there you go. Give her a new iPhone 11. Let her keep the old one. Maybe she's got like a younger brother or sister that could use it. It's a win-win. Anyways, fire content from the Dobre twins, as expected. But it doesn't matter what they put out. I'll only ever remember them for this viral video clip. Oh, okay. just have to respect the YouTubers that truly appreciate their fans. <laughs> so there you guys go, a little YouTube growth hack for you. Just steal your parents' credit card and buy a bunch of new iPhones and come up with creative ways to give them away to people on camera. Bonus points if you can do it without having to destroy perfectly usable phones in the first place. Now, almost as exciting as a Dobre Brothers meet and greet is the fact that a week from today, Sunday, December 1st, 3 p.m., the new TomatoMafia.com store goes live. The hoodies, t-shirts, and caps with the Tomato and Tommy Gun embroidery you've seen me wear in the last month or two will be available in time for the holidays if you want to cop. Now, you might be curious how you can get your hands on this iPhone 11 Pro, and here's the deal on that. As many of you may know, I have a second channel called Lush Life where I do some videos with my wife and we look at stuff on the internet. Groundbreaking stuff, I know. That being said, for shot this iPhone 11 Pro, all you have to do is make my wife laugh. And trust me when I tell you, that's easier said than done. So I'm going to put the instructions on the screen, but they'll be in the description as well. But all you have to do is head over to the Leon Lush subreddit, post a meme, gif, pic, or a short video clip that you think is funny, and then my wife and I are going to make a second channel video going through those, and whichever one she likes the best, that person gets the iPhone. Getting upvotes won't hurt, but ultimately it will just be a judgment call on our part, and she has a very odd sense of humor, so it may not be what you'd expect. Once we pick a winner, I'll message that person on Reddit to make sure they get the phone, and then we'll have a video ready to go on the second channel about the whole experience. Win-win. So that's that, but hold up, before you go, hold, hold up, just do me one last favor and just brew a fresh 10 cup pot of coffee, let it cool down to room temperature for a couple hours, and then mix in some soy sauce and some wet cat food, let it incorporate, make sure it's mixed really good, and then dunk your hand in and let your hand marinate for about two to two and a half hours. At which point, just take your hand out, go like this, and then hip thrust that motherfucking like button for me. I appreciate the hell out of you guys. We'll see you in the next one. Peace.